Hi, so I'm going to be showing you how to uh, set up a VPN connection on the ASUS DSL AC68U. Now this can also apply for the non-DSL one, which essentially means that it's just the router version of this modem router. So first of all, you want to uh, navigate to the, the router interface, which you can find out what yours is by either typing in router.asus.com or you can open up CMD and type in ipconfig that'll give you your default gateway which is where you can find the home page of your router now I believe the default ASUS login is admin password but um, yeah they recommend that you change it during startup I believe so you may have a custom password here not sure about your setup but I definitely do have a custom password here so go ahead and sign in. Now the first thing you want to uh, navigate to is uh, WAN setting under advanced settings on the left hand side there. And then up the top right we have this option called DDNS, which is the first thing I want to set up which makes uh, connecting to your VPN a lot easier down the road. So a little bit about what this does is it essentially gives you a WAN IP a DNS, a name, so google.com, it obviously works off an IP address in the background, but google.com is just a placeholder for that IP address, uh, which makes it an easier way to, to, to access the website. Now that's essentially the same thing that we're going to do here. We're going to be making our WAN IP address, uh, rather than typing in a bunch of numbers when we want to connect to our VPN, we'll be typing in something simple. So go ahead and click yes on enable ddns client also the first d there stands for dynamic if you don't have a static ip at your house uh, or business uh, this is essential you have to do this part um, but if you have a static ip this isn't essential but it makes things nice and easy so you can select a wide variety of servers under the server option. I recommend just using the www.asus.com option because that doesn't require any signing up to any other websites. But you, if you have a DDNS client that you use yourself, uh, you will be you know, required to put in some settings. But yeah, if you don't know what any of this is and you just want a VPN, sure, just use the asus.com one and go ahead and write in your custom host name. You'll see that it'll be your host name, .asus.com with two ams, .com. Now that'll be the actual address that we type in to uh, get access to the VPN. Now once we've got that out of the way, hit apply there. So the next option that we wanna jump into here is again under advanced settings and it is the VPN setting here. So go ahead and jump into that. Now the type of VPN connection that we are setting up today is a PPTP link. We're not using the open VPN. That requires a bit more effort. Uh, some people would say it's easier, but it does re require you to install a program and um, yeah, get uh, put a file in a particular location, that type of thing. So it, it is a bit more effort than uh, just remembering some login details. Um, so go ahead and enable the PPTP VPN server tick that to on VPN details just uh, just go with general and network place support uh, tick that as yes now down the bottom you will need to create a username and a password something simple that you can remember uh, lots of stuff of this um, video will be blurred out and that is purely just to protect me because well yeah obvious reasons this allows you to join my private network uh, but yeah, go ahead and enter in a username and a password there. Hit the plus button, add slash delete, and um, and then hit apply. And that's pretty much the router side out of the way. Okay, so now for the Windows side of things, you have to open up the network and sharing center. Easiest way to do that is to right click on your Wi-Fi or Ethernet icon and select the open network and sharing center option. Uh, from there, we want to select the set up a new connection or network. When that comes up, click connect to a workplace. As you can see there, it says VPN connection below there, which is exactly what we want. And select use my internet connection. 
Now, internet address, that's the address that you typed out just before in the router. So whatever you typed out, .asuscom.com. So I'll type mine out. And from there, no other um, things need to be selected, but you can give that a name. So if you're at work and you're gonna be connecting to home, you can call that home and press connect. Oh, sorry, create. Uh, from there, you want to jump up to change adapter settings. You'll now see your uh, VPN connection listed there. Right click on that one and jump into properties. Uh, from there, you want to go across to options. Nope, that's all good. Uh, security. So security, the type of VPN, you want to drop that down and say that it's a P2, uh, PPTP. So select that. And then down here, you want to tick this radio box, uh, radio button called Allow These Protocols and tick those two top boxes, Unencrypted Password and uh, the chat. Uh, in, over in the net, uh, just hit yes if that pops up for you as well. Over in the networking tab, unselect the IPv6 and um, sharing. You can share that with other people on your uh, local area network if you want, but... Um, most likely you won't, you won't want to and you'd probably want to set up the VPN on their computer as well as yours just because that's a more reliable connection rather than sharing it with everyone go ahead and click OK there now this is where things get a bit tricky uh, from a filming point of view because Windows 7 and 10 are a little bit different here but um, yeah so on Windows 10 uh, if you're on Windows 7 you will definitely be able to follow along with this uh, but yeah, things definitely look different. So <clears throat> there's two ways to this and I'll show you both. So you can click your Wi-Fi or Ethernet button down the bottom right hand corner and um, you'll see now that you've uh, added that your VPN options listed there at the top. Uh, another way around that is to jump in here and go to change adapter settings. Uh, Windows 7 users have to do this because the VPN isn't listed there. And um, just where we were editing, ed editing those settings, uh, you can grab this, drag it out to your desktop, and you'll get a shortcut on the desktop, which is the method that I personally prefer as well. Um, so rename that, whatever. Okay, so when you give that a double click now, that's going to open up these settings. So uh, click on Home and then jump into Advanced Options. Now this is to save the username and password that you entered before. Uh, you don't have to do this, but it saves you from entering in your username and password every single time you want to connect to the VPN. So username, enter your username that you selected and password, enter your password that you selected. Go ahead, click save. Now press the back up the top left. Now, because I am currently on my uh, home connection, there's no real point in me uh, doing this if I'm connected to my Wi-Fi. But what I'm going to do, and a great way to test this if you're testing this at home for the first time as well, is if you've got a smartphone, you can turn on your hotspot and um, connect to your hotspot on your computer and disconnect from your Wi-Fi. So I'm doing that right now. And as you can see there, I'm now connected to the, um, the Android access point Wi-Fi. So now if I was to refresh this page, it shouldn't resolve. Yep doesn't want any of it because I'm no longer on my home network but that's all about to change because of this VPN so uh, go ahead and click connect there sometimes for the first time this can take a while um, mine was practically instant just then but um, sometimes that can take a while to resolve uh, especially if you're not you know uh, really close to your network on the other side of the world for instance so now that that's connected, I'm essentially like I'm at home. So uh, the way to test that now and prove it is by yeah going to that, going to my router, and as you can see down the bottom right hand side, I'm still connected to uh, my Android Wi-Fi, and um, yeah so. You can, if you've got a computer on at home, you can jump into uh, your computer's filing system. Uh, yeah, a bunch of stuff that you can you can do from there. Another good thing that this is used for is to 
uh, stop people from using port 3389 and using that as their way to get a remote desktop connection. Uh, and VPN helps in the way of that is because it puts you on the connection. And from there, once you connect to that, you can, uh, you can type in the local IP uh, as if you're connected to that network. <laughs> bit confusing but um, I'm guessing if you're watching this video you have a reason for setting up a VPN anyway but um, yeah comments below if you want any tutorials about the usefulness or why you would probably want a VPN uh, yeah thanks for watching see ya